Welcome back to our channel, where we discuss personal finance topics related to stock market investing. The Efficient Market Hypothesis EMH, is a cornerstone of modern financial theory, proposing that stock prices reflect all available information. This video explores the EMH, discussing its implications for investors and questioning whether all information really is already priced into the market. Understanding the Efficient Market Hypothesis the efficient market hypothesis, introduced by Eugene Fama in the 1960s, suggests that stocks always trade at their fair value, making it impossible for investors to either purchase undervalued stocks or sell stocks for inflated prices. According to this theory, all known information is already reflected in stock prices, and any new changes will be reflected almost instantaneously. 1. The Three Forms of EMH Weak Form this version asserts that all past market prices are fully reflected in current stock prices. Therefore, technical analysis of past stock prices cannot predict future prices. Semi-strong form. This form suggests that all publicly available information is wholly reflected in stock prices, not just past prices. Thus, fundamental analysis cannot achieve superior returns. Strong form. The strong form posits that all public and private information is fully accounted for in stock prices. If true, even insider information cannot give an investor an advantage. 2. Testing the hypothesis. Empirical evidence. Various academic studies have tested the EMH by examining the ability of professional investors to outperform the market. Results have been mixed, with some studies suggesting that markets are efficient, while others indicate potential inefficiencies. Market anomalies. Certain market anomalies, such as the small cap or January effect, suggest that markets are not perfectly efficient, and that savvy investors can exploit systemic patterns. 3. Implications for investors. Portfolio management. If the market is truly efficient, the best investment strategy is to buy a broad market index fund rather than attempting to beat the market through selective stock picking or market timing. Risk versus reward. EMH implies that higher returns are only possible through higher risk. This risk return trade-off is a fundamental principle of investing under the assumption of market efficiency. 4. Criticisms of the EMH. Behavioral economics. Critics argue that human emotions and irrational behaviors, such as overconfidence or overreaction to news, can lead to inefficiencies that savvy investors can exploit. Information asymmetry. While EMH assumes that all information is available and reflected in stock prices, information asymmetry can exist in reality. Some investors may have access to information, but others do not, challenging the strong form of EMH. 5. Real-world application. Day trading. The existence of profitable day traders and other market players who consistently beat the market suggests that inefficiencies exist, allowing for potential profits beyond what EMH would predict. Financial crises. Events like the 2008 financial crisis have posed severe challenges to EMH, as they reveal occasions when stock prices have clearly not reflected underlying economic fundamentals. 6. The debate continues. Academic perspective. Within academic circles, the debate over EMH continues with new research and data constantly challenging or supporting the hypothesis. Investor perspective. The debate informs strategies for professional or amateur investors, from passive index investing to active stock picking. In conclusion, the efficient market hypothesis remains one of the most controversial topics in financial economics. While it provides a helpful framework for understanding market dynamics and investor behavior, numerous exceptions and anomalies suggests that the market may not be fully efficient. For investors, whether EMH holds true in reality determines whether efforts to outperform the market will likely succeed. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.